And guess what our next performance is? What? The next performance is done by our very own Lansing Baldy Heart. They meet every Sunday to discuss Hinduism and philosophy. In this performance, they will be doing a skit about Sri Dattatreya. Sri Dattatreya had tw uh, 24 teachers from nature. These retail kids will represent 12 gurus of Sri Dattatreya. Please enjoy. The participants are Siddharth Nagasethi, Keshu Arjun, Anika Sriram, Dev Guram, Adi Guram, Saket Dhanapadu, Anish Dalai, Akshay Dalai, Jay Sri Swaminathan, Amor Kudur, Nidhi Upala, and Bhavya Nidhya Jakarya, choreographed by Shravani Govindan. Please enjoy. undisturbed and to keep healing even if others cause injury. I learned that I have to give my best irrespective of external factors. The wind is my second guru. I move through everything and everyone unchanged, unattached. Oh wind, I have learned not to prefer flowers over thorns or friends over foes. Like you, Wind, my goal is to provide freshness to all without becoming attached. Water is my third guru. I serve all without pride and discrimination. I'm transparent. I purify and give life to everyone I touch. Oh, Water, I learned that just like you, a saint does not discriminate against anyone. He tolerates others' impurities in thought and yet remains pure and cleansing. You teach me to keep my thoughts fresh. If I stop, I become stagnant. Fire is my fourth good. I purify and perform everything I come in contact with. My energy shapes things. Oh fire, just like you burn everything to ashes, the inner fire of awareness reduces everything to its essence. That flame enlightens and the light of knowledge from it reforms us all. The sun is my fifth guru. With my bright rays, I provide warmth, draw water from everything, transform it into clouds, and distribute it as rain without favor. Rain falls on all irrespective of where water comes from. O oh sun, I learned that I should gather knowledge from all sources, transform that knowledge into practical wisdom, and share it with all without preference or exclusion. The moon is my sixth moon. I wax and wane, but I never lose my essence, totality, or shape. Oh moon, I learned that just like waxing and waning, rising and falling, pleasure and pain, loss and gain, are simply phases of life. While passing through these phases, I should not lose awareness of my true self. The bumblebee is my seventh guru. I am active and cheerful. I'm hard in getting nectar and make the flowers and plants happy by pollination. I learned from the bumblebee that I should take only as much as I need from nature and that I should do so cheerfully and whilst enriching the source from which I receive sustenance. The deer is my eighth guru. 
I have a keen sense of hearing. I am very wary of all noises. But I am lured to the doom by the melody of the hunter's flute. Oh dear. Just like you, we keep our ears alert for every bit of news, rumor, and gossip, and are skeptical about much that we hear. But we become spellbound by certain words due to our desires, attachments, cravings, and vasanas we delight to hear. I learned that this tendency creates misery for others and ourselves. The spider is my ninth guru. I build beautiful webs, destroy, and abandon them. Then, I start over again. Oh Spider, just like you, people also make webs from their own ideas and become entangled in them. But only the wise ones abandon all worldly thoughts and go with the Atma. The snake is my tenth group. I live in whatever hole that comes my way. I willingly leave my bad skin and molt. Oh Snake. From you, I learned to adjust myself to my environment and enjoy nature's resources without encumbering myself with a permanent home. A yogi should live in any place, be ready to mold all ideas and body for the rebirth of his spirit. My eleventh guru is the Aramaker. They say a king and an entire army passed on my street. I was not aware. I was engrossed in shaping my arrowheads I take the task on my hand very seriously, be it big or small. Hey Ishika, from you, I learned that the more pointed my focus, the greater my absorption. And the greater my absorption, the more subtle my awareness. My goal is subtle and can only be grasped by subtle awareness. My twelfth guru is a baby. A baby cries when it is hungry and stops when being fed. When the baby is full, there is nothing that a mother can do to induce more food. I learned from this baby to demand only when I really need something. When it is provided, I must take only what I require and nothing more. Since ancient times, Dattatreya is considered to be the presiding deity for the path of yoga. I now understand that the art of yoga is in integrating with the world and learning from it. We must observe nature carefully, reflect on it, and realize how our emotions and mindsets prevent us from experiencing life to the fullest. We, the children of Bharatiya Temple of Lansing Bhagavad, chant some verses from the Guru Stotra. <laughs> 